So the United States witnessed its historic inauguration ceremony. World leaders, of course, were watching at it very closely and sent in their congratulatory wishes to the new president at the White House. And one of the first ones of the block was, of course, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who took to Twitter saying that India and the U.S.'s partnership is based on shared values. He also said that India is committed to working with President Joe Biden, the new man in the White House. He further called the event a nothing short of a historic occasion. Now, the nation that actually shares a special relationship with the United States of America is Great Britain. It's also now out of the European Union after Brexit and therefore is looking for closer ties with the United States of America. And the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson called on U.S. President Joe Biden's inauguration. And he said that this, of course, was a step forward for the country. Listen to what the British Prime Minister has to say. Obviously, it's the job of uh, all UK prime ministers to have a very close relationship with the president of uh, a close working relationship uh, with the president and a good working relationship with the president of the, of the United States. And um, actually, when you look at the uh, issues that unite uh, me and, uh, and, and Joe Biden, uh, the, the UK and the United States right now, there's a fantastic joint common agenda. I, I really congratulate uh, Joe and Kamala Harris on, uh, on their achievement, on their inauguration uh, today. And also the President of the United European Union Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, congratulated Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. She further said that Europe is now ready for a fresh start, hinting at the pretty tumultuous term of former President Donald Trump. And also the French president, Emmanuel Macron, who himself is battling a lot of crises back home, has said that this, of course, is the most significant day for the American people. He's also welcomed the United States back to the Paris Climate Accord. And he's assured that together, the two nations can, of course, change the climate situation by taking action for the planet. Now, another gentleman who did not have a very good working relationship with the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, was the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. And as soon as Joe Biden, of course, assumed office, he took to Twitter and congratulated the 46th U.S. president and said that the two nations have tackled some of history's greatest challenges together. Meanwhile, Russia has urged U.S. President Joe Biden's new administration to take a more constructive approach. The Russian spokesperson has also said that the country is now ready for such work on principles of equal rights and taking mutual interest into account. And congratulatory messages also poured in from other places such as Taiwan and Japan as well. Both countries said that they stand ready to work with the United States. Now, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, interestingly, has urged the new U.S. president to strengthen a long-standing alliance between the two nations, partly in order to confront the threat that the Israeli Prime Minister says is actually posed by Iran. Listen to what's been said. Congratulations, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris on your historic inauguration. President Biden, you and I have had a warm personal friendship going back many decades. I look forward to working with you to further strengthen the U.S.-Israel alliance, to continue expanding peace between Israel and the Arab world, and to confront common challenges, chief among them the threat posed by Iran. I wish you the greatest success. God bless the United States of America. God bless Israel. Meanwhile, Pope has also called on Joe Biden to foster reconciliation and peace. The Pope has said, and I quote, at a time when the grave crisis facing the human family calls, he has prayed that Biden's decisions will be guided by a concern for building a society of justice and freedom. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.